Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Papa Meerkat, and yes, I am back. I have been gone for a, for a better part of a week, and I'm going to explain to you guys why before I get started here. But yeah, I was playing this for a moment, but I didn't have any audio for some reason. My audio cut out, and, I, and Elgato wasn't recording it, and I had to fix that real quick. But, let's get back on topic here. Why I've been missing for a few days is that our air conditioner unit... Our, our uh, central air and heat or heat and air our basically our air conditioner went out it stopped working it pooped out on us and uh, where I live is in, the, in kind of the deep south of a you know America the USA and because I live down in the south it gets quite hot down here it, we've had heat advisories for the last four days and the heat here has been in the excess of 105 to 110 degrees plus uh, high humidity and I did not want to run my computer with that kind of heat in the house plus uh, the humidity would have destroyed my computer as well so I had to do everything I can to keep from recording or even using my PC at all so I hope you guys understand and if you guys do thank you appreciate that but I'm back, and how I am back now is because me and my wife spent a pretty good little chunk of money to get a couple of window units, uh, AC units or air conditioner units for the windows so we can have some kind of cool air until we can get the big unit fixed. So there you go. That's uh, how I'm recording now. So if you guys were wondering if you've been keeping up with my channel at all and you've been wondering where's he at, why is he not uploading, well, there you go. Just to let you all know. Okay, so we did this uh, <clears throat> the last episode I uploaded on my channel was that I did the uh, the Digistruck Digi Peak DLC. And it's only the first playthrough because I'm still in the first playthrough right now. So, all right, but what we will be doing now is that we're going to go and do the Marcus Mercenary Day DLC. You Anything in here that's interesting? Are. No. Sorry for the noise, it's raining. And how, what the noise that you're hearing. We finally get some rain in, so it's going to cool it off here where I live, finally. It's been over a week, and it's the humidity and heat's been extreme. But the noise you hear in the background is probably water hitting the air conditioner unit, unit that I was just talking about. Because it protrudes outside the window right next to my computer a little bit. And because of that, it's raining at this very second, and it's hitting the air conditioner unit, which is kind of loud, so I hope you guys don't mind that. Alright, so what we'll be doing is the Marcus Mercenary Day, which is this one right here. The Headhunter DLCs, which I don't own any of them except for the Mercenary Day, Mercenary Day one, where it says Marcus Saves Mercenary Day. Alright guys, you all ready? Alright, here we go. Boy, those raindrops are loud. Oh, here we go. Is there any cutscene or anything? I can't remember. Nope, no cutscene. Alright, here we go. Let's see if... Think highly of himself, doesn't he? <laughs> Happy Mercenary Day. I got a job for you. Of course you do, Marcus. I'll move the microphone a little closer to me, so... Hopefully it will not pick up that rain sound that's constantly hitting. Oh, well, that's cool. Does it go across the bridge? Yep, it does. Neat. Guns, guns, guns. Guns, guns, guns. Always happy to do business with a vault hunter. Nothing too interesting yeah. in here, of course. Coal. Yep, sounds about right. Watch out, Farkas. You ever been to Gingerton? Place sucks, full of laughing and singing. They're good customers, though, and they haven't responded about the shipment of guns I sent them by train. You want to do me a mercenary day favor and check the town out for me? Narnia? <clears throat> Is this the Lion, the Witch, and the ward Wardrobe? 
But what I saw back here is you got gun, 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 boobs. <laughs> Need I say more? No. <laughs> All right, snowy Christmas themed DLC or headhunter DLC. And I just got a comment today on a video saying, "Hey, uh, you know there's DLC for uh, Portal Knights." I was like, "Wow, really? There's some new content for Portal Knights." So I might be doing a cut, picking up another Let's Play for Portal Knights in the future, checking out the uh, new DLC. So hope you guys are looking forward to that. Alright, I don't think this DLC is too long. It'll be a few episodes. Bam! Bam! Headshot. Triple kill. <laughs> I may be a little too powerful for this DLC. But you never know. <clears throat> I know, of course, if you guys have been following my Let's Plays, you know, as soon as I start talking, my throat's like, nope. You ain't gonna be doing that soon. What level is this? 35. Everything's like stuck at 35. Like the max. Makes you wonder, where are we? In relation to, like, Pandora. The map that everybody knows. getting very close guys very close to the third game uh, third Borderlands game is about to get released pretty soon we got about two months left on us a little less I think and it, I have this uh, one of my original you uh, sub subscribers that's been around for quite some time he uh, he's been wanting me to play uh, Devil May Cry don't worry man I'm just I got a schedule to keep and uh, when that schedule is caught up like I'm going to put uh, Devil May Cry on old school Sundays because it is an older game so I'm just waiting for uh, Project Warlock to be finished which I'm very close to being done with that deal so that game when I'm done with that I'm thinking about putting um, Devil May Cry 1 on old school Sundays so look forward to that if you're if you're watching this particular episode. <clears throat> Haven't heard from you for in a, in a while. It sounds frozen. Well, at least those slapsicles aren't singing any mercenary day songs now. Still, frozen customers ain't repeat customers. Check out the town furnace. See if something's wrong with it. Everything's wrong with it, man. Doll created mercenary day as a promotional thing. For one day every year, all mercenary operations were free. Then the idiots of Pandora adopted it as a day of charity and giving and... <laughs> Just vomited in my mouth a little. <laughs> of course, uh, Marcus. Anything nice and charitable, he just does not care for. Whatsoever. That's not a very char charitable man right there. Not at all. All he cares about how much money he has and how many guns he can sell. And for what price, too. Yeah, I'm just running around. I don't think there's much to explore here until after you do uh, the furnace. Because a lot of the snow and ice melts away. I need to find the artwork for this DLC so I can make a thumbnail not like my my junky thumbnails at the very beginning which I drew them myself <laughs> I wasn't very versed in the whole uh, photo editing software I didn't know how to like cut an image out that's why I made my own artwork which it looked kind of funky but I guess it's it's original you can, you can definitely say it was original. But if you guys like my original artwork and you want me to bring that stuff back, then I will. And get rid of the the picture cutouts and whatnot. Is there something hidden up here? It just looks more professional if I do the cutouts. 
It's like if, you know, most people look at the thumbnails before they ever watch a video and they judge the uh, quality of the video on the uh, on the th thumbnail quality, you know, that that's pretty, pretty much what they call first impressions, you know. And if that first impression doesn't catch the eye of the people that's scrolling through YouTube, then my videos are never going to get any views. So, I have to think of that. Oh, these snowmen got all coal. Sad. Do I need a fire gun? I can't remember. Now, this DLC is a really good deal. That's why I've got this DLC other than the rest of them. It's because it's really good DLC for farming for legendaries. And you'll see why when I get to the end of it. If you haven't seen this DLC or played this particular DLC, then I'm not going to spoil anything. We will play its normal course. Looks like it's out of coal. But who would have stolen the coal? The snowmen. <clears throat> yes, they are alive. Since it is now my domain, warm blood, children, get frosty. Get ah, frosty. Get frosty. Oh. Fire damage. You want some shotgun action? There you go, take some shotgun to the face. What a world. What a, did that one say, what a world like the Wicked Witch of the West? of Gingerton bought a bunch of guns from me so they could just give them to each other as presents. Whatever. If they're so nice, how come they're frozen? Checkmate. They have cold hearts. Come on, wake up. <laughs> just wake up now. I recorded some uh, audio the other day as a test. You know before the whole air conditioner problem happened and I got some weird noises in my video or my audio I think I picked up some EVPs or some serious uh, distortion Ow. guys took me down. Didn't kill me though, but they took me down. Very far. But yeah, I was recording some audio my, you know, with my digital recorder and there was some serious interference. I don't know what was going on. There was like a lot of static going on and the static like had sound like those voices in it. It was weird. I kept the, the audio file. It ruined a video I was trying to make for you guys. The video is still there, but I might have to dub over it. I'm, I, I'm kind of worried that that same interference is going to happen now while I'm recording this video. It means I have to dub over it too, which is going to suck. But I got, well, YouTubers got to do what a YouTuber's got to do, right? It's just not very good quality if you have to dub over, you know, gameplay like this. You'll, you can tell it's all messed up. Or doesn't belong or fit. You know, I tried to be charitable once. I gave Max everything when we were married. You know she's why I'm fat, right? She said, Marcus, make your enemies underestimate you. If you're ruthless, look fat. If you're smart, look sexy. Great girl. Miss her sometimes. Oh, I thought I was trying to get him at the pass. Didn't work. Good shot. Shotty.
I think most enemies in this DLC is uh, weak against fire. Everything's snow based. Fish. Fish. Yummy, yummy fish. Well, I think I hear some thunder. That's actually a really happy sound. With how hot it's been lately here, it's been miserable. Without air conditioning, man, it's been miserable. Me and my kids and my wife just bleh. Talk about, it, it's like I don't mind dry heat so much. You know, it's hot when it's, you know, without the humidity. But it's more bearable than humid heat. Like that really humid heat is nasty. Makes you sick, you know? And that was our everyday. Yeah, these uh, window units were like cheap. They're the cheapest we can find. They were still like $270 total for two. Uh, it's like 5,000 BTUs. Yeah, it's not. they're not the most powerful units, but at the same time, we got something better than nothing at all. Yeah, it was so hot in this house, my wife got a couple of bags of ice from where she works, and um, we stuck them in front of fans inside of a bucket. One in the front room, one in the, uh, the bedroom, or the recording room. And, yeah, they melted within 30 minutes, like complete water, from solid ice to water. It was fast. Oh. Ambush. General Akbar should be right here saying, It's a trap! <laughs> Frosty. I don't know if that's actually a uh, copyrighted. I should just shut up. Just wondering if they all have magic hats. Not cats, magic hats. <laughs> it did sound like I said cats for some reason. Magic cats brings them to life. <laughs> uh oh, we got a chest. Am I gonna get good loot? No. Never get good loot. I always have the worst loot possible. Ah, purples. Wow. Good God. Brisk plasma caster. Hmm. Explodes like a grenade. Oh, that has more damage. Just try it out. And shoddy. Eh, definitely not as good as mine, but eh, it's worth almost 5 thou. I'll take it. Let's try this caster. It's electric based, so it's not going to be too effective here in this DLC, which most things are weak against fire. Ah, I think I got to break that ice, don't I? Oh, maybe not. That bridge looks like it's up. Well, that looked like a very puny explosion. Story of my life, guys. Story of my life. Alright. Anything hidden behind these trees? Yeah, and don't be afraid, guys. If you guys want to say something to me in the comments or anything, give me your suggestions or just like to chat, yeah, go ahead and do that. You know, I'll try to comment back. I always try to comment back to everybody. It's not easy all the time, but I do try every time. Don't be stealing Marcus's guns. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> oh. Come on. I am. Ah. <laughs> that was a good shot. Run into that. It's hard to see. Uh oh, we got some. Uh... The gears are the frozen. Yes, yes they are.
Yeah, I was thinking about. I don't know if I can be a, uh, be able to do it, but it's just a thought. As making my own intro music and outro music for my channel. I used to be in band years and years ago when I was in school, so I still sort of remember some of my musical talents. Yeah, I played trumpet. You, good old trumpet. Man, I can still hear that rain coming down. Hitting that uh, metal on the side of that, on the top of the air conditioner unit. It's pretty loud. It's like having a tin roof. But I am happy to hear about it. Hear the rain. We needed it so bad. There's a lot of presents around. I do believe that, if I remember correctly, there is a chest up, up, up there. Or on top of the train. I haven't played this in a while, but if I remember correctly, I'll get the ice in just a moment after we go and get. Oh, there's a chest right here. Not a good chest, but it is a chest. 7,000 bucks, yes. Pistol gun damage and accuracy. 35 and 54. I'll take the 54. And you get a pretty good amount of money for all this. Now I think that it, you know, maybe I was, nope, here it is. Here's the chest I was looking for. Here's on top of the train. Two sniper rifles. 35 and 4 thou. Fash fashionable Snyder and Sublime Snyder. Alright. Well, time to break the ice. <laughs> Time to break the ice. And there it goes. Gotta get the other side too. Bam. And smack. Good. Now convince the conductor to get the train moving. Once the guns are back in Gingerton, we can take them home before the town unfreezes. Then we'll tell the townsfolk that Bandit stole the guns, and I'll keep my money and my merchandise. This Polar Express? Nope, Piss Off Express. <laughs> hey, thanks for protecting my train, doll. I can get this stuff back to Gingerton, but I'm afraid I can't go anywhere unless I got you nearby for protection. Just stay close and we'll get moving. Come on now, we gotta keep this train on schedule. Better not run me over either. Children, destroy that train and the Vault Hunter who protects it! Turn them into a frozen badass uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh, fiddle sticks. Oh, fiddle sticks. Fresh blood on the tracks. I control everything, foolish vault hunter. The bandits, the children, the elements themselves. Your mercenary deed. Yeah, you see that there's a resistance to ice or uh, electricity damage. So. so cold, so cold. Hey, man. Hey, man, don't throw snowballs at me. Do I have to break the ice? Man, it's hard to see with all this, uh, particle effects. Sometimes the enemy just disappears. Sounds like she's kind of enjoying this. Well, it's really good at landing those right on top of me and me. 
What a world. What a world. each other. Go for it. No. You can't kill me. I'm already dead tomorrow. I am gonna fall yep. my teeth off with your face. Already dead tomorrow. Finger pizza, just for you. finger pizza? Heck yeah, man. Kill him. There you go. Get on your goddamn knee. Don't hit me and kill this dude right here. No, this dude right here. There you go. Man, I can hear that thunder through my headphones and everything. It's annoying for recording, but it's a it's a wonderful sound, that's all I gotta say. We've been needing this rain for a while. Quit shooting at me, man. What'd you call me? Oh, the train won't move until I kill this guy, huh? Man. I wanted to turn him into a god liar. Nothing stops this train. Choo choo, Yep, made it here. See you around, sailor. I'll knit you something real nice. Dump the coal. After the town unfreezes, we can uh, steal my guns back and escape. And escape. You want me to dump the coal? I just hope my audio is not going to be all distorted again. Now, let's get the power back on. That uh, distortion sounded creepy as heck. And it lasted 20 minutes, too. I have a 40 minute recording. Alright, now let's get out of here before the townsfolk wake up. I'm... I'm alive! You saved us! Thank you, Vault Hunter. Thank you, Marcus. Crap. I guess we won't be stealing the gun shipment. Yeah, uh, you're welcome. That would have been more funny if they called him Smallish Tim. <laughs> like Tiny Tim. Now you can see more of the houses now, but I think more stuff come to life, like uh, robots, miniature robots. No, that's a uh, quest. Yeah, I remember now. You have to open up certain presents to pop out little midget or midgies. Sorry, about to say the the word. I don't think you get much for the first playthrough though, when it comes to the loot at the end. The best loot you can get is probably the third playthrough at OP8, I think it is. Well, of course, I'll be always the best loot. We'll see what we can get at the end of this let's play. It's not going to be very long, and then after this one will be the uh, Commander Lilith one. That's the last DLC, and then we'll be moving on to the pre-sequel. Money, money, money. I don't know why I open all these presents up. Hey, smallish Tim. The giant snowman who froze our town won't take kindly to your saving us. We've nothing to pay with, but could your vault hunting friend kill him for us? Uh, yeah, I guess. Vault hunter? 
track down the giant snowman and kill him. It'll be a... a mercenary day gift to Gingerton. Oh. Well, I'm not ready to take on the boss yet. He wanted me to sing my heart out, so I snatched it from his chest. Play the song! <laughs> Someone to feed me that will never leave me, but then I'll be not who I say is me. But then a little bee said to me, it's better to transcend reality. So though I may be very senseless, I can keenly see great immenses. Not a doodle, all the noodles come to play with me. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, thank, thank you. I had a tear in my eye. What'd you think of that performance? <laughs> that was funny. All right, so I think there's other quests, quests to do here. I don't want to go after Sir Mister the Snowflake yet. That's the final boss. Not unless the quests only appear after. Well, looks like we'll be going after Sir Mr. Snowflake then. I didn't really want to, but kind of want to do other quests beforehand. I think there's a couple of chests that opened up when the snow melted. Well, it looks like this uh, this let's play of this DLC is going to be only like two episodes to get everything done. Yeah, these Headhunter DLCs are really short. I think the longest one would probably be the, uh, the Valentine, uh, Valentine Massacre or something like that. Something to do with Moxie. I did play it before, but only in the Handsome Collection, which I have for the PS4. Looks like, already take out the final boss of this DLC. Ha ha! DLC over. Ha ha! Not yet, though. There is other quests. I think only maybe one or two quests after you taking out the snowflake guy. I'm not 100% sure about that. Well, looks like I wonder if uh, the snowflake guy can be um, slagged. I doubt, I doubt it. A lot of bosses are kind of immune to status effects. Get away from the lake. I just want to be left alone so I can kill everybody after you leave. Wow, man. You're so nice. Yep, this is the battle arena. This frozen lake here. And if you look down here. Down that lake, you see that huge hat. Stop! 
Dive, dive. <laughs> Interesting. A win win apparatus. <laughs> Snowman. I got you. No. No, you don't. Hey, a booster shield. And a elemental relic and just send your any damage of 19%. Alright. I guess that's the end of that. He actually got my health down pretty good. He was playing golf and throwing candy canes at me and stuff. Well, there's the final boss of this this DLC. Yay. Uh-oh. And you get the train to come in, and you get to pick your loot. Well, you don't get to pick your loot. You just get a lot of loot. What do I get? What do I get? Nothing too great. Ice to meet you. Commando head customization. I don't think I got any legendaries though. Cunning Fox class DLC or a mod? Why am I saying DLC? Oh, health and re uh, region. Nice. I'm okay with that. Team fire rate. Eh. Iridium. Wow, that's not even that great, dude. What are you talking about? Yeah, I got kind of shafted on this one, didn't I? Oh, it's going to do the uh, hunt him again trick. Yep, that's pretty much it. I didn't get much out of this lot. It's random. Defeat the evil snowman. You found the shipment, killed the evil snowman, and saved the town. Now for the eggnog. Eat the eggnog. What? Oh. Really? I got the same exact. Ah, that sucks. A special delivery for a very special boy, little boy. Governor, I've got a problem. I got to deliver these mercenary day presents to the townsfolk. But me legs ain't what they was. Could you drop them off for me? Uh, maybe. I kind of want to hunt the uh, snowman guy again. Should I do that before we end the episode? One more, one more hunt, and then next episode we will do the uh, the quests for this DLC. Yeah, I still have I still have this mask and face on, whatnot. All right here we go. Let's go fight the sir tender snowflake again. Let's see what we get this time. Nothing but green stuff. That's my guess. Guns, guns, guns. Yum, yum, yum. 
sword explosion. Nope. Yes. I might try this against the snowflake guy. Or the bone shredder. Balance smig. I'll go ahead and get rid of these. They're alright, but it's not something that I want to keep. Do I just sell something I don't want to sell? Yes. The incendiary damage? Yes, I will sell that. But the other stuff? No, I do not want to keep it. I might keep that health relic right here. Or the class mod. And I got two of these dang things. That's disappointing. So disappointing. Don't get killed! I don't want to sell it, dude. Stop. I must have pushed the wrong button. There we go. You can never be too well armed. All right, let's go. Kind of want to see that the other uh, grenade did not work against old tenor snowflake there. What manner of man are you that can summon up a fire without flint or tinder? Firestorm. Let's try that out on old oh, Snowflake, dude. Actually, I kind of like this crown of bones. Nice to meet you. There we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I'll see if I can make one more episode out of this DLC. What I'm thinking about doing is that after we complete all the, the, the quests in the next episode, which is not very many, what I'm going to do is just hunt the uh, snowman over and over again. Just make an episode of that and see what we get. And then next episode after that, we'll be going to doing the, or starting up the, what was it? Lilith, Commander Lilith and the Sanctuary thing, the newest DLC. And that'll be the last DLC I got, and then we'll be moving to the pre-sequel. Yay. A game you don't see very much Let's Plays of nowadays. The game is pretty fun. It's just not quite the same as... The, uh... This game, or the first game. Because it was made by a different studio. Under the Gearbox... You know, name. Australia, I think it is. Alright, sir, tender snowflake. Let's go another round. You just got all you have to do is come over here and ring these bells, and you get to fight him again. He wakes up. Kind of want to try out this uh, firestorm. It has no fuse time, so I'm thinking, is it going to be like a fastball? What's it going to be like? Whoa, whoa, dude, whoa. Calm your horses down, bro. Those fireballs keep missing. Hey, he's not very hard. This guy is really easy. Hey, man. What you drop this time? Anything wonderful? Or the same stuff? Diagnostic Adaptive Shield. Max health. Well, 1800 uh, health increase. Shotgun max ammo, that's kind of good. I like that. Rocket rockets. It's a machine gun. Wait. Calm it. Wow. You can see that damage drop off of the uh, shotgun at varying ranges, I guess. Oh. Woody. 
Bandit technical skin. Why am I getting bandit technical skin skins here in this DLC when you don't even get a vehicle at all? Weird. Yeah, so it's basically like the fastball. But it does that. I didn't even notice that. You see that? You throw. Boom. And it rains. That is neat. See if I hit him from over here. Got him. <laughs> that rain part is kind of slow. It seems like the enemy will be already out of its range before the rain hits. That's neat though. I was hoping I can use the uh, magic missile because magic missile is slag damage. Or just slag in general. Lightning bolt. Is there a... Uh, no. I don't have a magic missile that is... You know, um, legendary status. Oh well. Here comes the train. Yay. What are we going to get this time, guys? We're going to get at least one legendary, a legendary class mod that's closer to my level. Now that would be sweet. Come on, give me something good. Hmm. Strength relic. Angelic relic. Got the snow problem. That's a new one. What do we got here? Class mods. Sentry engineer. Cooldown rate. Any grenade damage, assault rifle magazine size and damage. And I'm just picking up random ammo from somewhere. Yeah, I don't think I got anything good for this. But I think you can get any, a lot of different uh, legendaries from this. You just. The first playthrough is probably the worst way to farm him. But you can still get legendaries here. It just has a smaller chance, I think. I think there's a way to jump on top of this that allows you to look at the bars. Probably from the snowman. Yeah, so this is a way you can find legendaries a little easier. If you're not sure about looking at it at this angle. Just jump up on the snowman here and jump on top. And you can look at all the bars that way. Alright guys, well, I think I'm going to end the episode here. In the next episode, we will do the, the remaining quests in this DLC. And when we're done with all the quests, we will uh, farm Snowflake Guy a bunch of times. And then we'll end the episode. And then next episode after that, we'll be starting the Commander Lilith DLC. And after that, we'll be done with Borderlands 2. Not unless you guys want me to try to buy all the Headhunter DLCs. Which I don't know if I'll be able to. They're not ex really expensive. They're like $4.99 or $3.99. So it's not that bad. But I am a poor boy, so don't have that kind of money but we, I'll see what I can do not less gearbox is watching my videos and be like hey we'll just gift all those to you so you can play them all all right guys well if you enjoyed the video please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining up more subscribers makes me happy that's uh, I guess that makes any youtuber happy huh if you get all them subscribers and likes and comments and all that good stuff no rude comments though but usually when you ask no rude comments usually that's when it happens more rude comments <laughs> but um if you like my commentary you find it helpful funny or entertaining hit that like button to show you support and that like button really helps me out guys it does a lot for my channel because YouTube sees that they see those like button hits on those videos and when they when they see that they recommend my videos to more people out there so they get to, more people get to find my videos easier than it is now. And um, if you uh, look next to that subscribe button, you'll see a bell icon. You hit that bell, I bell icon, then you become part of the Meerkat Nation notification squad. And when that happens, you get notifications for everything I upload. So anything I upload, no matter if it's Borderlands, Minecraft, or any game I'm playing, you will get notifications for them. So you don't miss any of these awesome Poppin' Meerkat adventures. Alright guys, well, each and every one of you have an awesome day. And enjoy your adventures of your own and your, in whatever video games you're playing. And I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.